Dr. Rani, please describe your work at the NIH. How does it affect the current obesity crisis? Um, first of all, thank you for even discussing this topic. It's a very important one and coming from uh, students in middle school, I think it's, it's really special because I think it's important that, you know, as early as you guys can address this, it's better it is um, going to be solved. So um, what we do at the NIH is, is similar to what um, most of the diseases and the management, cure and in future therapies of disease get tackled is at the most basic level. So NIH, just by the name of it, you know, it's a broad spectrum research institution for all types of diseases. And as you know, and this is why you guys are here, is obesity and diabetes has been at the forefront for a while. Um, it's projected to be really, really um, serious down the road. Can you comment so, on that, please? Um, so, so, so my, my research at the NIH really is trying to address both the mechanism as to why this happens, and hopefully along with my colleagues at the NIH, try to figure out you know, ways that we could manage it, with ways we could maybe tackle it and, and develop some cures for it. Um, as far as the epidemiology itself in developing countries, as well as in underdeveloped countries, this disease is manifest in millions and millions of people. So in the, it was considered to be a disease of the Western society where, you know, dietary indiscretions were manifest. But now it's no longer limited to Western societies like Europe and, and, and Northern America. It's also gone to Asia and the Middle East where, and Africa where, you know, for the most part, dietary indiscretions are not as commonplace. But at the same time, the lifestyle changes have made this disease an, an epidemic that it's turned out to be. Mm -hmm. So you said that diabetes is one of the most prevalent diseases in the world right now, yes? Mm -hmm. But what is diabetes and why is it, I'm oh, sorry, what is obesity mm -hmm. and why is it more prevalent in our society than ever before? What right. do you think are the causes of this problem? Well, so the causes is, is basically completely intertwined with who we are as people. It means we were, you know, it goes back to how we were hunters, gatherers, you know, billions of years ago, millions of years ago. We were not supposed to be eating at 8 o'clock and 12 o'clock and 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock again. We, we basically were designed and made to eat when we got the food, either way by hunting or by, you know, agriculture or, or some sort of, but there were days when you could go by without eating anything. So the way our bodies are designed is we are designed to store food because you never know when you're going to get your next meal. But that was millions of years ago. Now you have stored food in all places where you can go and get it at any time you want. So we basically have become convenience eaters. So we're not, we don't eat as a result of need anymore. So at eight o'clock in the morning, it's arguable whether we really need to eat the type of food we eat. Do we really need to eat scrambled eggs and danishes and, and then have a glass of, of chocolate milk and, and to top it off with some sort of a, a muffin with it? You don't need that. So the obesity epide epidemic is as a result of us basically changing our innate system. A system was not designed to eat that much. And as a result, you eat more, you spend less. What I mean by spend less is you spend away less of the e calories that you eat. We don't really walk to work anymore. We don't go and post our mail in a mailbox in a post office anymore. Um, we don't go and meet people anymore across the street. We just send text messages. As a result, we are not expending our calories that we have started to eat even more quantity. And when you have what we refer to in science as a negative energy balance, which means the more you eat, the same amount you need to get out by exercising or by somehow, you know, expending that energy. What we have is a negative energy balance, which means we eat more and we spend less. So whatever is stored, whatever is left not used is being stored as fat. That's the only way our body designs to store it. And that goes back to what I said, ancestrally, 
we are supposed to store it, we are designed to store it. And now we are storing more than what we need and that's why you have your obesity epi epidemic. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Move over. Did you pass the phone?